Hey, it's Miss Alana here, working on math, being awesome and amazing, and I know you are too. We are working on day two of our Fall Harvest Math Pairs. Bam, right there. Make sure you have your sheet so you can work on that with me. This is part three, question number three. If you need the other videos, go find the other videos. Read it with me. Let's go. It says you are buying two pounds of Boss Pairs that cost $2.87 for each pound. How much change should you receive if you give the cashier a $10 bill? So the first thing we need to do to solve our problem, we can use our cubes clues. Cubes clues is the C step, is to do what? Circle the numbers. Find the numbers for me. What do you see? I see the number two right there. What else do you see? $2.87 right there. What else do you see? I see another number. It's in word form. It's a number name. What do you see? Do you see it? Do you see it? Right there. The number 10. Bam, right there. I think we have all the numbers. We are done with that step. The next step in our cubes clues is the U step. Is to underline the important words. Find some words for me. The unit for that too is pounds. The unit for this $82.87, that's that dollar sign right there. So we have that. What about this 10? $10 bill. What other important words do you see? Oh, the kind of pair that is. This variety is called a boss pair. And bam, there's a picture right there. Oh, I rhyme. There's a picture right there of the boss pair. What? There's a picture right there. What? Of the boss pair. What? All right. And what else do we see? Oh, the word pounds right there. What else do you see? How much? Okay, we can do how much change. What else do you see? Okay, you can underline receive if you want to. You can also underline give and maybe the cashier. Those are some important words. Buying. Okay, fine. Buying. Cause. All right, we're about to underline. Oh, there's one more word I found right there. Each, each, that's an important one right there. I think we're done. Done with that step. The next step in our cubes clues is the B step. What does that tell us to do? Box the question. Help me find the question. What's the question? What is the question right there? Bam, how much change should you receive if you give the cashier a $10 bill? Bam, done with that. And the next step in the cubes clues is the E step to eliminate unnecessary info information. So remember, I tell you all the time, we got problems, we got problems. We have math problems, life problems, people problems, but guess what? None of that can trick you. None of it can because you're so much smarter than that. So let's look right here. Is there anything in this problem trying to trick you? Is it trying to trick you? Is it trying to trick you? Well, maybe it sounds complicated and that's why you think it's trying to trick you, but remember, use your mind. You're so much smarter than that. We need all this information. Let's check that off. We are done with that step. And the last step is to solve and check. So to solve and check, we need to think about it. Hmm, think about it in your mind. Think about it, imagine. You are buying two pounds of Boss Pears. So you're buying two pounds of pears. It's a lot of pears. Lots of healthy eating going on at your house, I'm sure. And let's see. It says it costs $2.87 for each pound. So there's that Boss Pear. And it costs $2.87 for how many pounds? Each pound means what? That means for one pound. Now, are we buying? Are we buying one pound? Are you buying one pound in this question? No, it says right there, you need to buy, buy two pounds. So that's like if I send you to the store, can't drive though. Please buy me two pounds of these pears. And now you have to calculate by pound to get to your two pounds. So that's the first part. Let's do that part first, okay? So how much is it going to cost for the two pounds? Two ways, well, two pounds 
two ways, two pounds, two ways. We can either add that two times or I can multiply it twice. Let's do that. $2.87 plus $2.87 or you can do $2.87 times two. We need to do it twice. Now, I am going to show you both ways. If you want to be awesome and amazing too, you can show both ways on your paper right there. Show it right there and show your work. Are you ready? Let's work it out. Seven plus seven is 14. Write the four plus one up top. Let's do double eight because we know double eight, eight and eight is 16. One more makes 17. Write the seven plus one up top. Two and two makes five. One more gives us six. And oh, we forgot the decimal. When we add and subtract decimals, what is a decimal to? Come on down. Come on down and join the math party. Bam, right there. And that dollar sign comes down too. It's like they're having a party together with the numbers. Let's do it the other way, multiply, and that way we can check. That right there is checking your work to see if you did it right. Two times seven is 14. Put the four right here, plus one up top. Two times eight is 16. One more is 17. Write the seven, put the one, well, plus one up top, and decimals, oh no, it doesn't come down yet. That decimal, when you multiply, it likes to just hang out. It's hanging out, hanging out. It's going to wait to come to the party. The four and the seven, they're already at the party. Two times two is four. Plus one is five. What? What? Hold on. Hold on. Look right here. This is different. All right. We're about to check our work right here. OMG. Let's finish this one. I need my decimal. Look right here. Bloop, 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 and it goes right there, dollar sign in the front. Hold on. You see how I did both ways, and I messed up. Why don't you ever tell me when I mess up? You need to start telling me when I mess up. Miss Alana needs some help. Where did I mess up here? Let's check our work. Seven times seven is four. No, plus. Seven plus seven is four, plus one up top. Eight and eight is 16, plus one is 17 plus one up top. Two and two is four plus one is five. How did I end up with six? Ah, what in the world? No, Miss Lana, no, five. Let's check this one. Two times seven is 14. Eight and two is 16 plus one is 17 plus one. Two times two is four plus one is five. Ah, see, when you make a mistake, if you check your work, you can figure it out on your own when you mess up. You don't need my help to help you. Well, sometimes you need my help. Sometimes I need your help. Please help me when I need help. All right, so whew, this math, this is like a math workout. It's like a math brain workout, but we're getting stronger in the mind, stronger in the math, which is amazing. Okay, guess what? We're not done because there's the last part because this was a two-step problem. It was a multi-step problem. Two steps, more than one step. It says, how much change should you receive if you give the cashier a $10 bill? So the cashier goes, bloop, bloop. Okay, not the decimal. Imagine like, bloop, bring it up. Bloop, 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 bloop. Okay, ma'am or sir, your pairs all together will cost $5.74, please. And you give the cashier, here you go. What do you give the cashier? $10. Do you get change? You better get change. If not, that cashier, you, you fired cashier. You are fired cashier if you don't go and give me my change. So you need to know how much change you should receive because sometimes they might mess up too. So always, always practice on math so nobody can trick you out of the money that you need to get back. What do we need to do to solve that part of the problem? We need to, I'm going to draw a line right here because that is step one. Step two at the bottom, we need to subtract from what? $10. And what do we do with that 10? Decimal zero, zero, bam, 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 right there. Subtract $5 
Line them up, line them up. And 74 cents right there. Are you ready? Are you ready to subtract with me? Let's subtract. Zero, take away four. Can't do that. Zeros like to roll and hang out. They're hanging out. They have nothing. So they need to borrow. Borrow from. But you have nothing either. You, you have nothing either. So this one turns into a zero. This zero turns into a ten. But then that zero, hey, hey number ten, I need to borrow. Okay, that becomes a nine. That becomes a ten. Hey, I need to borrow. Okay, that's a nine and that's a ten. Ten minus four is six. Nine minus seven is two. Decimal, bam, ready for the party. Come on down. Nine minus five is four. Up oh, zero, nothing. Decimal, no, not decimal. Dollar sign. Now, you know what we need to do now, right? We need to check our work because that right there helped us check our work. Let's check this one right here. Now, to check this problem, we do the opposite operation, inverse operation. What is the opposite of subtraction? Addition. So let's add these two numbers together. $5.74 plus $4.26. Are you ready to add? So set that up to add. Let's add four and six makes 10. Zero plus one up top. One and seven makes eight plus two is 10 or seven and two is nine. One more is 10. Zero plus one up top. And decimals, when we add and subtract, they're, they're always ready to party. Come on down to the party. And one and five makes six plus four is 10. Or we can do five and four is nine plus one is 10. Bam, right there. Oh, guess what? Yes. You see that $10 right there? $10 right there. You know you got it right. When it matches up like that, only thing left to do is write the answer. So right here where it says, Solution. We are going to write our sentence down right there. What is the answer for this problem? How much change should you receive? I should receive. I, I better receive. They better get it right. Give me my change. Right. But don't be rude. You can't, you can't be like, hey, you better give me my money. Don't do that. That's not nice. You can say, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, ma'am. Can I please have my change? Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. So let's write that down. I should receive how much? Right here. Four dollars and twenty six cents in change. Bam. We are done with number three. Don't forget to subscribe to Miss Alana's YouTube channel. Don't forget to like this video. Put a thumbs up under the video. Put a thumbs up and like this video. And if you have anything to ask me, anything to say like, hi, Miss Alana, how you doing? Go ahead and put that in the comments. I'll message you. See you in the next one.